everyone, myself Sai Prasad, Alexan, Akhlabad High School and the Junior College. Welcome to a series of the lectures of Intermediate First Year Maths E. We started our discussion with matrices. What did we learn? We started with the basic definition, right? Then addition, multiplication, transpose. Then we concluded with determinants and its properties, right? From now, in this whole session and even in the next session, we will do more problems on determinants. Okay, based on the properties. Okay, hope uh, one is clear with properties, right? Fine. See here, one more. The row operations, elementary operations, we are going to start now. Right? Hope uh, you remember that row operation, R2 is it tends to R2 plus AR1 kind of thing. Okay, which means using the first row, we can operate the second or third row. Okay, this is a question. He is asking us to do that. Determinant of this matrix is equal to this. Obviously, you would have uh, got the idea that just why can't we find the determinant directly plus minus plus, right? Uh, if you want to directly find it's up to you. Then what is the use of properties? Yeah, using the properties we have to prove this is equal to this. Is it fine? Shall we do? See here, the most popular row operations which we are going to use, I will use here. That is, remember, whenever we solve the determinant, make sure that these two elements has to be made 0 using element. Okay? Try to remember like that. Okay? Or else better subtract second row from, I mean, subtract first row from second and third. Those are the most popular row operations which we use in almost all the problems. Okay? That is, use r2 tends to r2 minus r1 and r3 tends to r3 minus r1 okay at last how we have we have to use the i mean the standard technique to find the debt but before directly solving it will be 1 a a square will be as it is this will be 1 minus 1 is 0 b minus a here b square minus a square done here 1 minus 1 is equal to C minus A. Here C minus A square. Is it okay? Fine. And the next, can I change it as 1 A A square? B minus A. B square minus A square can be written as B minus A into B plus A. C minus A. Here this also. C minus A into C plus A. Okay. Why did I take like that? Because here if I get b minus a, I can take b minus a common from the whole row. Yes, just uh, you have to get that idea. From 0 we can take any number as common. Okay, that will be 1 a a square. Then I have to take b minus a as common. Then I will be left with 0, 1, b plus a. Again, if I take C minus A common, I will get it as 0, 1, C plus A. Okay. Now, can I directly find the debt? It is very simple to solve. Therefore, this is equal to B minus A into C minus A into plus minus plus 1 into C plus A minus B plus A. Yes. However, 0 into something, 0 into something is obviously 0. B minus A into C minus A into C plus A minus B minus A. A, A will get cancelled. Therefore, what is left? B minus A, C minus A, C minus B. What is the answer? A minus B, B minus A, C minus A, right? Just take minus common from this, minus common from this. You will get it as A minus B, B minus C, C minus A. How? What is the first popular operation I told? That is R2 tends to R2 minus R1, R3 tends to R3 minus R1. R2 tends to R2 minus R1, R3 tends to R3 minus R1. BC, B plus C, 1. CA, C plus A, 1. Oh, sorry, this we have to subtract it right. A minus BC. Here, C plus A minus B minus C. 1 minus 1 is 0. Done. And then I A B minus B C. Here again, 
a plus b minus b minus c again it is 0 ok then see here cc will get cancelled bb will get cancelled i will be left with bc b plus c 1 here can i take uh, c as common yes right if i take c as common i will be left with a minus b ok here also a minus b is left here 0 here can i take b as common i will be left with a minus c here also a minus c is 0 fine done now can i take a minus b common here yes right and here a minus c is it not easy fine that's it just b c b plus c 1 c 1 0 here b 1 0 from where should i apply that now can i apply from here plus minus plus yes just do it this will be a minus b a minus c into 1 into b minus c or else directly you can write it as c minus b this minus this right however 0 0 those b here a minus b a minus c c minus b again interchange this here you will get minus here you will get minus a minus b b minus c and c minus fine what is that we have to remember we have to remember what row operations and what operations if, in the, if possible we have to use in order to get the solution okay when do we get uh, such kind of clarity only when we practice a lot right shall we do a few more problems let's look at the question now this question is again a different question and easy to solve once again i am telling the questions you have to remember the steps there is a question given b plus c c plus a a plus b again c plus a plus b plus c a plus b plus c and c plus a that is equal to double of determinant of a b c b c and c okay how do we do that is either we have to add all the elements of a row or else we have to add all the columns all the elements of a column that is let us take r1 is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 okay don't ask me whether we can do it or not we can do okay that is add this b plus c c plus a a plus b 2 c is 2 a is 2 b is that will be 2 into a plus b plus c isn't it here also 2 a is 2 b is 2 c is this also will be 2 into a plus b plus c right here also 2 into a plus b plus c right and this will be as it is obviously okay then what to do next now take 2 as common from all the terms okay if i take 2 as common this will be a plus b plus c a plus b plus c a plus b plus c why can't we take that as common? I mean, uh, a plus b plus c also common because there is no single term outside of the determinant. So now let us use our popular uh, operations. That is, R two tends to R two minus R one, R three tends to R three minus R one. From here you will directly get the answer. Okay, just check here. 2 into this a plus b plus c will be common do not worry about this ok here c plus a minus a plus b plus c c c cancel a a cancel you will be left with minus b here a plus b minus a minus b minus a a, a b b will get cancelled i will get minus c here b b c c will get cancelled i will get minus a a a b b will get cancelled i will get minus c here b b c c will get cancelled i will get minus a here c c a a will get cancelled i will get minus b right now again r1 tends to r1 plus r2 plus r3 why a plus b plus c add minus b we will get cancelled add minus c c will get cancelled isn't it then i will be left with a right just if I add both, I will get it as A here. If I add C and A, I will get it as B here. 
If I add a b, I will get c here minus b minus c minus c minus c minus c minus b. Okay. Can I take minus common from this? Yes. Again minus from this. Yes. I will be left with a b c b c a c a b. Therefore, my answer will be 2 into mod a b c b c a and c a b. Is it what uh, yeah, it, he asked? Isn't it easy? Tell me. Uh, yeah. The only thing you have to remember is when to use this row operations. When you will get to know only when you practice the question for more and more times. Okay. Shall we do next problem? Let's do. See this next question. He is telling that b plus c, c plus a, a plus b, a plus b, b plus c, c plus and a, b, c is equal to this. How to do? If you want to solve, you can directly solve. There is no issue. Or else, we have to use some technique. How? If you observe here, here it is A plus B and here it is A. Here it is B plus C, here it is B, here it is C plus A, here it is C. Can I subtract this? Yes, right. Do that. That is R2 tends to R2 minus R3. What do we get? B plus C, C plus A, A plus B will be as it is. A plus B minus A will be B. B plus C minus C will be C. C plus A minus C will be A. Here A, B, C. Right? If I observe here, B plus C minus B, only single thing will be left. Here A, here A. Okay? Shall we do? See here. Then, R1 tends to R1 minus R2. Okay. That's it. There is nothing more to solve. Here C, here A, here A, B, C, A, A, B, C. Let me solve. Okay. Plus, minus, plus. C into C square minus A, B, A into B, C minus this is a square plus b into ac minus b square. Is it okay? Let us multiply it. That's it. c cube minus abc minus abc plus a cube. Here again plus abc minus b cube. Isn't it? Is it correct? Here it is b square minus ac. Okay, remember first this and the next this or else interchange your order. Either this, first this, second this or else first this, second this. Don't get confused. Therefore, this will be a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3abc. Isn't it clear? Shall we do one more problem? Let's do. Look at this question. Here, there is a thing given. Okay, I'll get a plus b plus c. Okay, fine. Apply r1 tends to r1 plus r2 plus r3. Okay, this will be a minus b plus c. 2b minus b is plus b. 2c minus c is plus c. Here also, 2a minus a is a plus b. 2c minus c is c. Okay, here 2a minus a, a. 2b minus b, b, 2c, I mean 1c. The remaining will be as it is. Okay. Now can I take a plus b plus c common? Yes, because I have this there. That is a plus b plus c. If I take common 1, 1, 1, 2b, b minus c minus a, 2b, 2c, 2c, c minus a minus b. Fine. Now what to do? I have two ones here. Can I subtract it from first column? Yes. Now we are for the first time we are going to use columns. C2 tends to C2 minus C1. C3 tends to C3 minus C1. Is it right? That is A plus B plus C. 1, 2, B, 2, C will be as it is. 1 minus it is 0 b minus 2b is minus b 
obviously minus c minus a will be as it is ok 1 minus 1 2b minus 2b 0 here 2c minus 2c again 0 and the left is c minus 2c is minus 2c I mean minus c minus a minus b will be left. Now just apply that what do we get 1 into minus b minus a minus a minus a minus b you take minus b minus common I will be left with a plus b plus c whole square therefore my answer is a plus b plus c whole cube is it right is this uh, question easy fine do not get confused each and every problem of this uh, determinants is of long answer question is it fine is it clear good at least by next class I think you will be ready with the, all the properties of determinants right just practice this problem then only we will know how to solve determinants then only we will know how to solve the higher order problems okay. these are all almost all we have crossed the 50 percent of uh, difficulty till now and the remaining is in the next year fine this is for today let us meet in the next session with more problems of matrices thank you